What's up? Um, today I'm going to show you how to do the city tiler or motion tile effect in After Effects CS5. So j let's just jump right into it. Um, just make a new project. I just don't save that. And uh, I would just want to import the clip you want to use in After Effects. And uh, just drag that on a new composition. And um, yeah, so um, I'll just give you guys one quick quick tip. I'm just dragging an intervention gun sound or some other gun sound because um, it looks a lot better with that sound effect um, reversed. I'm just show you later, but uh, just do that if you want to. Okay, so um, you just want to find the spot where you want to be done, like at the end where he shoots, and um, you want the intervention sound on and match that up where the gunshot comes, like that. Yeah, just not there. So, and you want to click on, you want to have it um, check, and you want to click on it, or layer, time, time reverse layer, so it comes like red and white yeah, lines underneath it, and if you click LL to get away from, you see that it's uh, reversed, um, you can sound, I can just show you how it sounds. So that's basically how you can sound reverse sound. Um, a lot of people use it nowadays. So you just wanna uh, click, and you would just wanna uh, add an adjustment layer, one layer new, um, adjustment layer or Control Alt Y. That, and you wanna call this one CC Tyler. And this one CC lens. Okay, so just search up CC Tyler here, and uh, if you move the scale, let me see that it goes out, and you can't drag it over 100 and or below zero. But and you can also change this the lights. A little fade of the original uh, in the background and just change these settings if you want to. But for this tutorial, I'm only gonna use the scale because uh, that's what was requested. Okay, so you just wanna find the spot where you want it to be finished and add keyframe at 100, and uh, you wanna find like a spot like in middle somewhere. Change it to whatever you want, just play around with it. I'm just gonna change it to 30, 35%. Yeah, because that's uh, 9 square cents. Um, okay, I guess. And you want to find a spot where you want it to start and change it to 100. Okay, so if, if you just ramp you with that part. that it goes outside with the uh, sound but it doesn't really look very nice um, because the edges is like just a square edge and that's why I added the adjustment layer uh, CC lens just search up CC lens and, and here you wanna click on U to get up the keyframes and just go to the last keyframe on the CC Tyler and you want to move one keyframe earlier and change the CC lens to around 250 or 
maybe around 200. Yeah, that's better. So 200 and go one keyframe before uh, later. So it matches up with the CC Tyler one and change it to 500. Actually, I didn't set keyframes. Yeah, just do it out. Change this to 200 or whatever you're comfortable with. And go to the first one. And the CC Tyler and click U and add a keyframe there on 200 and go one I'll actually I change that to 500 and go on keyframe go on frame later on and change that to 200 so if you ramp up it now it will look a lot better okay so you see it likes the edges ain't that like like round it's more rounded now um, I think that looks a lot better so yeah just playing around with it and change on the settings to see what you like best like obviously you don't want to use uh, below like 20 you just wanna find what you're most comfortable with and yeah I uh, hope you like this tutorial and to get it and uh, you just want to install the Kai Core effects just watch my CC tutorial on that and yeah